What's up everyone? It's your girl D here back with another video and I am with my amazing husband, Maceo. And today this video is gonna be about struggles of a trader working a nine to five job. Cause there are a lot, but we're gonna like point on the most important ones. Want me to go first? Okay, so I would say hands down. One of the biggest struggles that I think that I face uh, in my trading journey, working a nine to five job would be like just not having the time. So, so for me, um, I like based on our strategy, I realized I have to be in the market at a specific time, which is usually between like that nine thirty to eleven o'clock. That's when like most. That's when I am most profitable, right? And Unfortunately, that's the time that I'm, I'm at work and it is it is challenging because obviously for my job like I shouldn't like I'm I cannot be on my phone like as often as I would say make sure the privilege to be. Um, so that, I think that's been like the most challenging thing is like so obviously I have to mark up, I have to set up, I have to punch it in trades, I have to go into trades, stuff like that. It's just been extremely, extremely Challenges. All right. That's number one. Well, for me, I don't have to see him. It should be one of the legs, like you said. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have more privilege. But yeah. I made that point blind from the get go. I'm a trader, and this is what I'm going to be doing. I didn't say no disrespect, like, I don't, I don't overdo it, but. They know what I do. Amen. It's still there's still a struggle within it because you still have to, you still understand at the moment your job's work was it's what's paying you, it's what's paying the bill. Mm -hmm. So you still have to be Life respectful of it. Um so it's the nature of the work is done. When I do have a free time or slack time, I can always go on it. But so that's not your struggle. Basically. Um it's still a struggle because I can't be as effective as I would want, want to be. I can't be as present as I would want honestly, to be. And honestly, I feel as though you so, like today, for instance, like, I feel like it still causes you to rush trades. It, it, well, yeah, it causes you to rush trades because what happens is you're thinking you, you, about, you're thinking about the, 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 opportunity I have, the opportunity I have now, actually being able to look in the market and see something. Let me hurry up put either buy stuff because I'm not sure when I'm gonna be present to exactly watch the scandal close in the next fifth, in the next five minutes. Okay, the next three minutes I'm gonna have to deal with a customer. So, so I might interrupt you. Yeah. So it costs you there, but what I do also because because I know it's a possibility that I may not be present at a certain so time. So what's your daily routine? What I would do, I would actually set alerts. Oh yeah. So I don't do that. my daily routine, I don't mark the same amount as you. I mark up for the minute I get to work. Mm. So that's around um, 8.59 o'clock I mark up. Uh, my mark up went from a 15, 20 minute mark up to a 5 minute mark up and all that. Yeah. Put price in my box. I look at my overall, I look at my trend. Okay, I see that miles or the other miles or the other is buying at the moment. That's a trend right now. I'm looking for highs and broken. I'm looking for XYZ. Uh, I'm gonna wait for my first nine o'clock, nine fifteen candle before, and I wanna see where that's being formed and how that's looking at my structure, and I'm gonna live with whatever result it is. I, I think I would like me just go in different our time zones a little like with you, the trade. But it's always, but it's also it's because no, I, I I notice I notice if you go on a nine thirty candle or nine thirty candle, that's the one of the biggest momentum candles start session so we look at 9 a.m 9 a.m candle because we trade in 15 minutes but so we look at the 9 a.m you look at the 9 15 candle two first candle then look at the 9 30 so 9 15 might come like this 9 o'clock might come like that the 9 15 might go like that then the 9 30. so i noticed that but it's more so most times that 9 o'clock and 9 15 candle is going to show you where the market wants to go mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Um, but but do you feel as though it makes you rush rate? Like not um yeah, you think it makes you Yeah, it, it makes you rush rate. So my yeah. routine, like I said, but my routine that I have, 
it's almost where I don't have to rush a trade now. You know, I have market scheme, you know that. Yeah. I put buy stocks, I put sell stocks. So I'll never actually have to rush a trade. But I, it, it makes me not be able to be as present as I want to be. So my, like I say, my routine, I mark up my chart, put price in my box, this is where I work. I look at what the trend I'm looking at. I put my alerts, okay, if I'm looking for price, the break structure, or if I'm looking for price, at support or so resistance area. I want to see what the first candle do. That break the last area or whatever. I'm getting in that. Mm -hmm. I already have my fifth mark. I already have everything. Already, my, I already have my stop loss mark to what how much I'm willing to risk. So I'm going to punch it in my trading um, account. And I already have my stop loss what I want to risk. I already have my profit what I want to make. I already have what I want to lose. So it makes it a little bit easier, actually. But the nine five it makes it a little bit more like I say not present. So yeah, not, that's yeah. Like, oh, but you, I fun. think, I think you would have a better way to trade if you actually take advantage of what trading you offer, which is alerts. Yeah, I, I probably um some headphones, some earbuds, put one in your ear, um, and just when you when the alert goes off, you actually hear instead of actually having to be next to your phone. So that's what I usually do. I put one earphone in my ears. And once my other goal, I get hear it. My phone all the way down there, but I get hear it, so I just go to my phone. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I do. But but my my routine is like basically the same thing. I'll wake up, uh, I wake up. I'll go to the computer before I go to work around eight o'clock or whatever, and I'll mop up. I will put price in the box. Mm -hmm. I will put the arrows. Um, like price is going buy. I put. Yeah, we go for price to break and then reset the third area and I show like the hour direction from whether if it whether if I get it for a sell or a buy, I'll have two arrows and then I'll put the sell and buy um icon or whatever and then go from there. So at least you can make it like easier for me. Alright. So I think that's it. Question nine to five trading. Well why how do I want to say it? If you become when I want to say if when you become successful making a certain capital gain whatsoever, right? Mm -hmm. Would you stay to your nine to five or would you bye bye? Consistency con consistently that I'm making. Yeah, I say bye bye because I'm gonna like focus on my craft. Like when I say that like why am I staying? I don't have no reason. I mean because like, you made it this far. Making X Y Z out of nine five work up. No, I think you will be better. So you will be MJ. He's good. It's so pizza. Yeah, yeah we have pizza later. Okay, come. Yes. Sorry about that, y'all. We had to deal with something. Yes, where, where were we? Um, I'm not sure. That? Oh, then my foot. Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't put on my mouth, like. So, oh, sorry. So, I would um, say. We were talking about if you made it that far, be successful as a trader, why leave your 9 5? Right. I'm sure people just want to know, like, should they leave their 9 5? If it's, a good, if it's a good 9 to 5, making, they make some decent money there. Or should they still say, see you later? Like, for me. For all the time. Like, for me, if I be making some good money, um, trading while I was working my nine five, I would just I don't think I'll leave just like that. Like I think because what I'm making, I might stay a little bit longer. See, I, I always feel like you should milk whatever you could milk. But why? Why are you milking? Like you, you, I always they call me crazy. I say money is fake. Like time is the real currency. Why am and I, I and I agree, but you could switch it whereas you don't have to be a full time no more. You really make a certain amount hourly or whatever. So you could cut that down out hey, I'm coming out three days of the week. Okay, then okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay let me, so that's what I'll do. If I'm making this some money, I'm gonna get a business, something. And that's not but then as a trader. So what you buy? That's as a trader. You know as a trader, and I guess they'll know eventually after the while trading. Babe, you know in one you just need one good trade. You just need one good trade. 
and you set for that week. So if I'm if I could punch a trade in on a Monday and make mess up two to one or still reward, I'm good. So I, I can go to work two so I can go to work two days. days. So I can go to work two days or three days of the week you and be like, hey, job, not work. Yeah, no. yeah, I go to a job for two, three days of that week and be like, okay, so this money I can make off trading, I don't have to touch this anymore. I can use this now to pay my bills and use my trading okay, money. Okay, but the money you're making, okay, business. but the large amount of money you're making from trading. Yeah. Why would you lower yourself to make that? You're not money? lowering yourself. I don't think you're lowering yourself. I understand what you're saying. Uh, okay, we can just go No, I understand, I understand what you're saying. Um, but what I'm looking at is, Nice. You want a portfolio, right? And you want you don't want because you don't want it to come in real. You're trading money now has to go towards your living expense. You say you listen, are you saying you're saying that you're making it consistent? Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna but, talk about my No, but I'm not saying that I'm gonna be in my job five, six years, ten years. I wasn't being big money. I'm not gonna. Let's say I'm making five thousand or ten thousand a month. Let's say I'm making ten thousand a month trading, right? I'm not gonna say okay. Let me leave my job now because I'm only making three, four thousand dollars. Let me just leave my job and be like, bye. No, because now when you make a ten thousand trading, you have to pay tax off that. You still gotta now pay rent off that, like okay, all the things, and, and, and you're gonna invest. And I'm gonna live the same lifestyle I lived yeah, when I was no, making two thousand dollars. But then now, what you could do, you could sacrifice one one more year working. To actually capitalize on all that saving profits right, that you made. You got two different parts. I'm not interested. So? I'm not so? interested. Okay, good. But that's another. That, that's another YouTube video as well. Because I want to know your plans. I want to know your plans now. Since you're fun to trade off. Since you're fun to trade, I want to know your plans on what you want. Because I you know obviously people may think people may think because we're married, we know everything for each other. But we don't. Because I don't know your plans. I think you know a little bit of my plans. I like always talking about my plans, but we I don't know what your what's your plans and what's your steps now that you're funding trade off. What more are you going to do now, man? man? But I don't make this video long, babe. No, I don't make this video long, long and I don't. I just wanted them to know the struggles of. Yeah, but like you said, not, that that's mostly like for me. It's the time. Um, it, I think also definitely it's the time. It's the time. Yeah, I think that's that's it's that's time. really it though. It's that's, I don't think that's just it. No, what I, I think it's the time, but I think it's the mental capacity that it comes with too. Because when you're out of job, I think it makes you rush the process as well. Because now you were there at eight hours and then you might have one good trading day. Maybe like, but it's made a thousand or two thousand dollars today of the trade. But I got to get this job for whole week. Just to make this money. So now you gonna try to rush that process. It makes you hate you. Yeah, so you gonna try to rush that process and I'll be like, but I, I don't hurt, so I ain't gonna take y'all that means I ain't gonna take y'all garbage. But yeah, it makes you sure trade like, like, like you could imagine you you go home and you train you train with my manager coming to you working on some other type of time, making you mind when you pop into a tree. <laughs> oh like, like, not, think about the mentality you can have on the mindset you have now. Let's say you just made a thousand dollars today. Let's say you made five hundred dollars today on trade, right? And before you came to work, let's say before you came to work, you made five hundred dollars, right? So let's say you was in a trade overnight, you made five six hundred dollars. You come to work, and the first thing, oh, you two minutes late. Why we call you two minutes late? I don't think of it like like for me that don't that don't. So all you think about is so all you think about is I just made my daily salary in two hours or while I was sleeping. And you're gonna ask me why two minutes late. So it makes you be like, okay, you know what? Let me pull in another trade today. Try to make this money while I have me on. I think it rushes, I think it rushes the process and makes you fail quicker than uh, that's why that's why I'm like But I think life in general could do that to you though, based on your circumstances, like your financial your finance your financial circumstances now in okay. general so, will make you like your psychology I like know I I've, I've watched some I I've, I've watched some trailers, right? Who said this? And I quote: They wish they never left their job so quick when they became profitable, making consistent money. They would have been further than they are now because they're not. Because now we have to rely on a trading HD. So it messes more than the human. Yes. 
So that's why we see a lot of traders there, they sell courses now. Because they didn't know every day on this market that it's a, possible, it's a possibility that they're gonna put money in their pocket or money's gonna come out of their pocket. Every day. So if you have a 100K account, if they wanna market that account, either it's gonna go up or down. And every time you make profit, you now look at, okay, I have rent to pay, I have car bills to pay, I have food to eat, I mean, groceries to buy, all these utilities are available, right? All these miscellaneous um, expenses. But as a tr but if you really think about an investor, like I always try to make you up an investing, investor mindset, I'm gonna milk this company that I'm at, however which way I can possibly milk them, whereas you guys are gonna pay for my bills. Yeah. And my trading account is gonna be growing and growing and growing and growing. And every profit I make, I'm keeping that I'm gonna invest my I'm gonna invest my profits into businesses or something else. Instead of having to take whatever profits I get and paying bills with that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm looking at. So yeah, no, that's why I said I think I I think you shouldn't rush when you actually become a trader but be like, okay, yeah, I'm making consistent money. So at least Bye bye job. Okay, I have hundred k in my account no, now. Bye bye. No, but that's just another. That's not. That's another you step. But yeah. just a minute, that's another step. But that's another level. You have to take mentally. Yes. Yes. Because eventually, yes. you will have to quit eventually. Really? Yeah. You will. And yeah, I don't think you no, want to be. You want to quit eventually. Okay. So every scene, every step in your training journey, your mind has to now like process certain things. You have to always go to go through that struggle. You understand? So, yeah, anyways, that's all we have for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.